Hello everyone, my name is Tian Ang. I'm an assistant professor in Institute of Metallurgical Resources and Environmental Engineering, Northeastern University of China. I work with Professor Xue Xiangxin and my research focus on biomaterials. I'm so glad to have the chance from the International Journal of Nanomedicine to share our latest funding with the peers. In this paper, we investigated the effects of titania nanotube on the behaviors of glioma cells and osteosarcoma cells. In previous studies, some research groups such as Professor Patrick Smuki and Professor Kai Yong Cai, etc., have demonstrated that the nanotube could improve the cellular activity. Nevertheless, there are conflicting and fundamental issues existing for mechanisms involved cellular response on caliber still await further exploration, such as the best size of caliber for cellular activity and the relationship between caliber and cell types. To understand that these issues would improve the biocompatibility of the implants and unveil the cellular behaviors on the nanoscale, we explored whether the size-dependent effect is universal among tumor cells and normal cells. In the section of the preparation, we fabricated the nanotube coatings on the surface of the titanium by employing the anodic oxidation method. The scale of the caliber could be regulated by tuning the parameters such as the voltage and the temperature in the preparation process. During the research, the cultivation of cells and the related biological testing were performed in the Central Laboratory in the first affiliated hospital of China Medical University. The cells were first cultured on the titanium dioxide nanotubes with a certain time. Then the migration, proliferation, and the expression of the functional proteins were investigated. Specifically, how the expression levels of vitronectin and the phosphor focal adhesion kinase were affected by the nanotube diameter was studied. The chamber test and the immunofluorescence testing of isolation of tubulin proteins was further designed to help understanding the migration performance of cells. The results indicated that the nanotubes with 20 nanometer caliber could improve the activity of two kinds of tumor cells. And the expression levels of apoptosis associated proteins were also influenced by the topography of the coating. For example, with 20 nanometer diameter coating, the expression of caspase 3 protein reached its lowest level. The optimal diameter of the nanotubes was 20 nanometer for cell adhesion, migration, and proliferation in both cells. In our future study, factors including cell concentration, incubation time, the chemical composition of the nanotubes will be further analyzed to help us understanding the biological behavior of cells. The research was also supported by the assistant professor Xu Quan and the research associate Dr. Dong Chenbo. Dr. Xu works on carbon dots, his fluorescence mechanism, and his applications in cell imaging and environment applications. Dr. Dong works on the fabrication of the nanomaterials, the application of the biomaterials, etc.